After placing a bone graft and covering the graft with the membrane, sometimes we like to strap in this membrane using the palatal flap and the remaining periosteum. After we create this periosteal fenestration to have more flexibility in the buccal flap, we have some periosteum left on the apical portion of the flap. To do the strapping sutures, we would like first to enter the palatal flap Afterwards, we try to grab the periosteum Returning to the palatal flap connective tissue to epithelium And then the palatal flap again, epithelium to connective tissue, without going through the membrane. can take another bite from the periosteum now. Finally, we go back to the palatal flap, connective tissue to epithelium, making sure to tighten both ends of our suture material to strap the membrane in place. And this should be how the final look of the strapped-in membrane.